Hi everybody, and welcome to the bench. I'm joined by Pat. How you doing? Good. Hi, Outfitters. That was a great fly we were on today. That was your special Box Canyon special, right? That's correct. What are we going to use for ingredients in this fly? We're going to use a six, size 6 uh, streamer hook, okay. 3x long. And we're going to be using some uh, weight to weight it down, some olive thread, some uh, super floss rubber legs, and some brown chenille. Great. Okay, how are we going to start off the, the bug? First thing that I like to do is to put on the lead wrap. Okay. Okay. So I start it right in the center and wrap it as tight as I can, going towards the, uh, the eye of the hook. Then we're going to put on the thread. I always tie kind of a little knot, start it at, at the eye, basically. Uh -huh. Put that on, and then wrap it all the way down through the uh, lead. Now I have some brown chenille I'm going to tie in. We're going to just wrap it right down at the bend of the hook. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is tie in the rubber legs. Okay, and the first one, I always just put a little knot in there. Okay. And we put it down on the hook, and we put it right at the end, and we want to try and make like the tail, actually. Oh, it'll have two little barbs sticking That's straight correct. That. Take our next leg, put another knot in it, okay. and, that's just, and then it's just coming up with each one of them. And this is the last one, and what you're trying to do is imitate those feelers coming out. They aren't really legs, but that's that. And we'll cut them out to size, is that right? That's correct. We're going to cut these down to size when, once we get it all finished. Okay. This chenille that we've been having hanging off, we're going to form the body with. Okay. Now, what, one thing that I like to do to give that impression of those things holding up, I hold those up, the feet, the uh, tail, and I come back underneath the rubber legs. Oh, okay. And then I come over the top. And these rubber legs, you can always just pull and keep in the place. Oh, great. And then you just tightly wrap it, and as you start hitting the th the uh, lead. It's, well, the lead, it'll start getting thicker. Oh, okay. And the body looks a little bit fuller. When you come to each one of the legs, that's when you tie them in so that they come in out straighter. Yeah. And to finish it off, you just tie down the chenille. Now we're going to finish it off okay. by completely, uh, we're going to trim down the legs and the antennas and the tail. And I just, it's kind of a guesswork right there, but I like to just take them and trim them off. Well, that's a beautiful little pattern. Worked great today. We caught a ton of fish. Thanks a lot for tying it. Thank you, Don. I'm going to put it in my fly box and see if I can do as well up in uh, BC Great. with it. I'm sure you will. All right. Thank you.